Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. Where it's late here in Sweden, it's almost 8 o'clock, I'm here to talk about the new Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer. Overachiever concealer. I tried out this product this morning and uh, I want to show you how it worked for me and to tell you about my experience wearing this product the whole day. And this is the new concealer from Huda Beauty. This is in shade number four. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. I'm going to put the name down here. But this is shade number four, zero four, and it's neutral, neutral light, I think it's called. Let me see. This concealer is available in uh, 20 different shades, and this is the third shade. This is the Feel Unique's website. So this is the third shade in that shade range over here. And this is neutral, it's fair medium neutral. And I I used this this morning. So you're going to see me applying this product. I think it was around seven, uh, seven o'clock in the morning. And right now it's eight o'clock. So about 13 hours wear test. This is how this product looks like. Looks like it's a very small packaging, but I really think it's so cute. And this is the first time I've been seeing a concealer like this with this kind of applicator, and it's very cold, so it felt very good on the under eye area. And this is the shade. It's very light, but I kind of like how light it is, and it's a very thick in formula and very high coverage. And I've been wearing it all day. You can see, I would, I could definitely maybe go up with the, the, go up a shade or two darker. But I just wanted something to bright, uh, bright the under eye area. And I'm glad that I bought this shade. And it's, it dries down very, very fast. So you have to work with it fast. And of course, it's easy to build up. And it kind of smells like the um, foundation and the powder. I love how this smells. And it is here to gently squeeze the tube to release for, uh, formula using Zamac applicator smooths directly under the eye area to conceal and depuff for refreshed look. Blend using a brush or beauty sponge until desired coverage is achieved. High coverage creamy concealer. And it is a very high coverage, I have to say. I, uh, I'm going to tell you what I think about in the end of the video. But this is me applying the concealer this morning. So please watch.
welcome back. Now I did zoom you in a little bit, so I'm going to take off my glasses. And um, this is how I look after the whole way, after 13 hours. No creasing, nothing. I don't know if you can see it, but there is no creasing under my eyes. I didn't touch my under eyes at all today. No, no creasing, nothing. It's very high coverage and it feels very comfortable. It doesn't make my under eye dry or heavy. It feels like I don't have any makeup under my eyes and it didn't crease at all. I'm so surprised. I really like this concealer and uh, I do like it. I really, really do like it. Uh, I think it's a great concealer. I think it's a full coverage concealer. It's very easy to build up. It does dry down very fast. You have to be fast working with it. So tomorrow when I'm going to apply this, I'm going to apply it only on under the one eye and then blend it in and not go over on the other side because it dries down very, very fast. But I really like the coverage. It doesn't move, but it smells so good. Oh my God, I love the smell. And uh, I think it was maybe... I, the shade looks good on me. I will definitely maybe go, I could definitely go a shade or two uh, darker, but I do like that it's so bright, so it really opens my under eye, the opens my eyes and make me look fresh and more, more um, rested. <laughs> and uh, guys, I'm very surprised. I really think it, this is a good product. Like I said, I do love her powder. I'm obsessed. I use uh, the setting powder or baking powder every, every day. And I love this powder. I do like her foundation, but I didn't like the shade range. So I didn't purchase that one. I'm waiting for her to release more shades. And I think I saw on Instagram that is, she is going to release more shades. And I'm glad that she is going to do. I hope the more of them are going to be more neutral than yellow undertones. But I do love the powder and I did set everything with the powder. So I did set my under eye, I did bake it with the powder because it's what I you do usually. So I'm very glad. Um, it doesn't make my under eye more dry than the other foundations. I do have a little bit of dry, very thin skin under my eyes and I do have smi fine smile lines. And it doesn't exaggerate them, it doesn't make me look more dry than other concealers uh, because my skin or everyone's skin is very very light and I do have a lot of texture under my eyes but I really like how this works and I think it's a great product and I do do recommend it if you like a full coverage lightweight concealer but that was everything I had for you guys today thank you so much for watching I hope you like this video if you did don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye!